Today we are headed over to Brooke and Aaron Smith's house. They're over in Rogers. They have got, as Jenny would say, an old Cotswold, little English Tudor looking house, right? Wants to be. It wants to Ma, be that. It's almost there. Which makes Jenny Mars very excited mm -hmm. because she's always wanted to work on a Tudor style house. Granted, in the Cotswolds. <laughs> We've never been to the Cotswolds. However, I want to go. It's on my list. I've seen pictures and I just love everything there. I love how old everything is. I love the adorable cottage style houses. So I'm excited to work on a house in that style here at home. Oh, it's cute. Yeah, it is. This definitely has that distinct Tudor look. It has the brick and the stone and the decorative half timbering. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Hey, guys. You too. Hello. Hey. How are you? Good. You don't see a lot of Tudor houses in this area. No, so it's... you don't. We are Brooke and Aaron Smith, and we live in Rogers, Arkansas, with our four and a half year old son, Samuel. It has a lot of the old original siding, windows, cabinets inside the house are tiny. We can't even fit pots and pans in them. So I feel like Dave and Jenny are exactly what we need for this house. First of all, how much do you have set aside for the remodel? We have 220,000 set aside for- Okay, hefty budget. So we must have a lot of work ahead of us, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so what are you wanting to do out here? The exterior just needs some updating. There's a lot of rot on this siding. Okay. These are the original windows. They are drafty. What about the brick and the stone? We really love the overall look of it, but we're, right. uh, we're open to painting or anything. Okay, so I really just want to play up the Tudor look of this house, but with a modern twist. We can brighten it up and really kind of elevate it and make it as unique as it is. Love that. So out here, the plan is all new siding, new windows, and then potentially paint the brick. We'll come up with a plan that really emphasizes the Tudor look of this home. So it'll feel like your house belongs in the English countryside. So should we go inside? I'm sure there's a lot to talk Let's about go. in there. Okay. So this is the space. Cute. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. So you have kitchen, living. This is where you spend a lot of your time, I'm assuming, right? Yes, and we just love having people over. And it's yeah. always just very crammed. We have Samuel's stuff up here. So usually all of his toys are out everywhere. Right. We don't have a lot of closet space. But one yeah, of our big problems nice. with this area, it is so dark back here. Right. right. And it just feels like a cave. Yeah. So we need to find some natural light. Do you guys want to keep your wood floors? Would you like to go lighter to make everything feel a little brighter? I don't think that we would be opposed to that. OK. So I don't know if there's light that we can capture from the kitchen. Maybe open this wall up. Yeah, because you have a window here and you have this window, but then you have laundry over here. So if we open that up, that brings light into that corner. Oh yeah. We would love to have this more open. Okay, you gotta find a new place for your laundry room. Yes. But let's just talk about the kitchen while we're in here. Have you already updated this, I'm assuming? Some? We did, yes. So what are you thinking for in here? All this cabinetry is really awkwardly sized. They are the original. Okay, okay. so we need new cabinets all together. Well, what colors do you like? Lighter colors, mm -hmm. whites, and some fun colors like blues. Okay. Really the plan for this big space here is we'll remove this wall so that we can open up and get more light into the living room. We're gonna do new flooring, keep it consistent into the kitchen as well. And then all new cabinets, new countertops, appliances, new backsplash, new lighting. This should feel like you're in the English countryside, kind of right. like a tucked away little cottage. Why don't we check out the bedroom? Okay. okay. The main bedroom here isn't quite fitting us with uh -huh. the small bath and the tiny right. closet. Oh, wow. It is small. So we thought about moving it down to the garage. And so we could shift Samuel over to this bedroom okay. and then okay. his bedroom could become the new baby's bedroom. Wait, I what? wonder if I get a new baby. Are you pregnant? pregnant? Yeah, I'm pregnant. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, <we're good>. Awesome. <laughs> Congratulations. That is awesome. Thank you. So That's so Congrats. great. We're so excited. All right, so we got a lot yeah. of work to do here. Yeah. Let's go look at the garage. Absolutely. Okay. Should we? Oh my gosh. Let's okay. go look. All right, so we'll come around here and okay. uh, enter into the garage. A big old blank canvas. Yeah. Absolutely. That's awesome. All yours. That's yeah. right. <laughs> So do you not use your garage? Such a small garage, Aaron can't even fit his truck in there. We prefer to have this as additional space for the house. What do you think? This is your prettiest view. So if you have a bedroom here, 
So we can do bathroom here. We got tub, shower, vanities. Can we also move the laundry down here? That would be amazing. That, okay. I love that. What else? We'd like to be able to have access from the driveway into the space. So the plan down here in the current garage is we're gonna transform it. Since we'll be taking your garage doors away, we'll add a door that'll give you access to the driveway from your new laundry room. And we're gonna put a bedroom over here on the left and then a nice big main bathroom. I just want your bathroom to be a cozy retreat that feels like a spa. That's awesome. So, since we need a closet and then we also need a hallway to get upstairs, here's an idea. This is crazy, but we're crazy. This is what we have at our house. What are your thoughts about having a big family closet next to your laundry room? When I say that, it means you'd have your main closet in addition to, we have what we call, we call them lockers, but each kid has a locker. So it's basically a closet. We'll build this entirely out of custom cabinetry, but then you're doing your laundry and putting your clothes away here. So you're not carrying them up and down the stairs which is why we did it. I love that idea. It's exciting, yeah. Perfect. We'll give the cabinets a pop of color and we'll finish the space off with some unique tile. So we're just gonna make this a really beautiful space with tons of storage. Okay, well, we're so excited. Yeah, we're so excited. Thanks for letting us be a part Absolutely. of this. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I'm awesome. so excited. You rest, we'll get yeah. to work. <laughs> I'm so happy for them because I know they really, really, really wanted another baby. And so this is amazing. And we get to finish their house for them. She gets to rest and come home to a completely remodeled house where she can then bring a new baby in. I love it. Yeah, it's a perfect situation. It really is. So nice, right? Yeah. What are we doing here? We are going to make it even better. Uh, got her open. So this used to be Samuel's room. He is going to move into the old main bedroom where yep. Brooke and Aaron's room was. And this is now going to become the baby's bedroom. So yep. I think it'd be really fun to surprise them with a new nursery. Cool. I love it. You love it. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay. Love it. We are going to surprise Brooke and Aaron yep. with a finished nursery so that when they come back, they are ready to go, ready to have this baby. I'll come up with a plan. We're floors gonna... and trim for now, and then you're gonna tell me on paint. Yep, we're doing a nursery. With the wide oak floors installed throughout the rest of the main floor, trim is being added. And in the kitchen, shaker cabinets are gonna give the Smith family the storage they've been lacking. In the main bathroom, the team is installing the tile in the shower. It's a nice gray, a little bit more modern and sophisticated version of a subway tile. Then I have a marble looking hexagon tile for the bathroom floor. And I think will be really beautiful in contrast with the shower tile. And with Dave's perfected tile pattern down, we're finally able to install the cabinets in the laundry room and a ton of new storage in the family closet. Dave Mars. I have big, big baby news. Aaron and Brooke are gonna let us tell them what the sex of the baby is. That's really cool. So we're gonna surprise them with a nursery and they're gonna find out if they're having a boy or a girl. What an awesome surprise. Tell so we're gonna paint the room what color? Well, we're gonna leave it white and then we're gonna do a little mural over here. When I say little, I mean big. Do a giant rainbow mural, a sunrise and then the crib. And they have no idea. No idea. Let's let them come in the room, take it in. They're gonna figure it out. I think the clothes in the closet will really reveal the surprise. Love it. The other thing I was thinking, what about a glider for her to rock the baby in? Okay. That'd be cool, I like that. All right, finish up the trim, but That's I awesome. love it. It's gonna be so fun. I love this color, it's so pretty. So in the nursery, I want to put up a rainbow mural with the sun. So I chose a whimsical hand-painted rainbow. I love this because it feels really organic and natural and will be really playful and fun for the nursery. The house is really close to being done. Yep. Outside, we're painting the decorative half-timbering a muted beige to make the exterior pop. The main bathroom's getting a large soaking tub as well as a glass shower door that will show off the amazing tile. In the kitchen, the white marble-looking quartz countertops are going in. You want to grab the other half of that. Along with Dave's Kitchen Island with the secret gas line. You should be able to fit through there pretty easily. Everything about this kitchen is just cute and charming and lovely. It makes me want to say lovely, darling. It's just lovely, darling. 
What do you think, babe? Charming and cute. I love it. Love the style. Good job, it guys. It matches the floor, like the yeah, I love it. angles. It's perfect. So good. This is so exciting. All the little finishing touches that we're putting in today mean that we're that much closer to giving the house back to Aaron and Brooke, which means they're that much closer to having a baby. Mm -hmm. oh. Hallelujah. Wow. I can't believe this was the garage. No, Insane, I can't. Right? This entire renovation, from the 500 square foot of additional living space that Brooke and Aaron now have, to the gorgeous kitchen, the herringbone floors, the energy efficient windows, the updated siding, and everything else has added about $200,000 of value to their home. I mean, it's come such a long way. The anticipation is killing me. We're almost there. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's so cute. It is beautiful. What is, what is this? What is that? <laughs> It's a completely different house. Oh, hi. hi! How are you? Good! Hi. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, it's beautiful! This is awesome. Yay. Do you like it? We were like, this is not our house. Oh my gosh, look at that door. Isn't the door so pretty? That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, oh my gosh. So, you know, before you had this almost Tudor house. It had uh -huh. some of the elements, but not all of them. So we really just wanted it to feel like a very beautiful Tudor cottage. The arched front door is just very traditional, quintessential Tudor, and the wood element just really warms everything up. That is beautiful. I oh. love that. We gotta go inside. There's so too. much more. Uh, yay, let's go. <gasps> oh my god. I do not believe this. Beautiful. Oh Look how God. open it is. So much brighter in yeah. here. These countertops. I love the two yeah. tones this. that we have. Oh. oh. This is amazing. It's beautiful. It's awesome. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's, what? Look at these floors. What? This Jenny, is oh my gosh. Amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> I thought this is a fun place to give you just a moment. That's just fun. Yes. I mean, come on, it's the closet. That's Yay. incredible. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh wow. This is a little sanctuary. Yes. <gasps> this I is perfect. Look at the window seat. Room. Oh. Uh, sliding door. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hey. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yay, I'm so glad. This pretty tile. The shower tile. We did a little bit more modern and sophisticated version of a subway tile. I love all the colors you are oh. using all over yeah. the place. I love it. Oh, Thank you so, so much. Welcome. Oh. We actually have a little gift for you guys, a little baby gift, too. You do. So yes. follow us. So we'll just let you guys go first and you, you can see go. it. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, just go on it. <gasps> oh my gosh! We're having a girl. <laughs> guys, you're having a girl! This is so precious. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Look at her little rainbow. We know that this journey has been really hard for you, and the the promise of the rainbow uh, is after the storm, right? Yeah. And the sun and the beauty of that. And I think this precious little baby girl is just uh, such a sweet, sweet gift. gift. And we're so happy for you guys. Oh. Y'all just made it like the most sweet home for us to be in and just can't thank you enough. You're We're ready. ready. Yes. I don't even have to do the nursery. <laughs>